ಪೂಜಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ಶರ್ಷಿ ಭ್ಯೋ ಮಹದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪಫಲವರಹಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನಗನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕರ್ಥೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮಭೋಮ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಂಚ ಸತ್ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಾಶ್ರಂಚ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕಂ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ಮಥಾಸ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಥಾಸ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಶಾಸ್ತಾಮಲಕಂ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂ ತಂತೋಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನಸ್ಪದ್ಗುರು ಸಂತತುಮಾನ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ನಮ ಆಲಿಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಿ ನಮಾಯು ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಪುತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಘನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತಿ ಸಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾಭೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಮಾಂನಾಯಾಂತೈಕಸಿಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಘನಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ yesterday we looked at the first sutra just to make it feel like a brahma sutra class so going back into the adhyaya pratham adhyaya there are four chapters in the brahma sutra each of the chapters is divided into four quarters padas so you have four adhyayas and four padas each so total 16 adhyayas in which there are 555 sutras now each of the sutras is categorized into an adhikarana some adhikarana and which sutra goes into which adhikarana adhikarana is a topic kind of a topic we can consider it as a topic when the particular characteristics of the sutras match each other then they go into single adhikarana so when we looked at the first sutra athato brahma jignyasa this sutra over here this is in under jignyasa adhikarana now some adhikaranas have only one sutra like the first su- four sutras here what is called a chatur sutri they are across four adhikaranas meaning each sutra is in one adhikarana because the topic varies the subject matter varies we'll see what is an adhikarana and uh, before moving on i also forgot to mention which most of you may be aware as to sadashiv brahmendra saraswati not only was a yogi and an advaitin a brahmanishta but also a great poet so he has a bhakta also he has written uh, many a kirtanas kritis like pibare ramarasam or uh, sarvam brahmamayam re re sarvam brahmamayam so all these uh, beautiful kritis in sanskritam are also by sadashiv brahmendra so he was a great bhakta also he made sure that this bhakti towards advaita continues advaita bhakti okay so that's an aside in the adhyaya now this first adhyaya what makes a particular adhyaya in brahma sutra so there um, there is a vyakhya by bharati tirtha who was the guru of uh, uh, who was the guru of uh, swami vidyarana charya so the bharati tirtha muni vidyarane is also called as a muni and bharati tirtha was his acharya who is also a muni so he has written on this uh, nyaya prasthana a nyaya mala vyasika nyaya mala vyasa sambandhi vyasika so vyasika meaning that which is related to vyasa what is that brahma sutra brahma sutra has sambandha with vyasa as a vyasacharya is the author therefore vyasika is related to is basically means the sutra brahma sutra and nyaya mala nyaya mala like sutra is what sutra is that which is a uh, you know literal translation is a thread 
like a thread goes through the flowers and makes a garland similarly a mala is a garland and this vyasika nyaya mala is a uh, you know set of shlokas it's a set of shlokas which is made in such a manner that it covers multiple sutras in one go adhikarana in one go and it has uh, he defines in that itself at the opening he defines as to what is the way to understand the shlokas also so where is the puro paksha in which part of the shloka etc but he has written the shlokas which can give you a headway into the sutras so for adhyayas and each adhyaya he gives a uh, he gives a an introduction introductory verse this is the fourth verse though in vyasik nyaya mala it says shastram brahma vicharakhyam adhyayas yus chaturvidah samanvaya avirodhau dvau sadhanam cha phalan tatha so to start off with brahma sutra you get a uh, get a bird's eye view when you look at uh, vyasik nyaya mala so it says shastram brahma vicharakhyam what is this brahma sutra it is a shastra it is a shastra for what brahma vichara for inquiry into brahman athato brahma jignasa let there be an inquiry into brahman now this brahma vichara brahma sutra is for brahma vichara that shastra is called as this brahma vichara itself so brahma sutra itself can be understood brahma vichara akhyam shastram akhya is a name so that which has a name brahma vichara that kind of a shastra this brahma sutra is in which what adhyayas yus chaturvidah there are four adhyayas and why four adhyayas because they deal with different topics different subject matters uh, therefore of four types they are of four types chaturvidah what are these four chapters samanvaya avirodhau dvau so samanvaya which samanvaya is uh, you know making things agreeable pointing out as to what samya kanvaya where is a samya kanvaya what is the commitment of the shastra of all the vedanta vakyas what is the commitment what are they really tuned towards what are they tuned to reveal is it karma is it upasana is it one particular devata many devatas or whether it is uh, revealing swarga as a purushartha what is it exactly tuned towards or is it saguna brahma or nirguna brahma what exactly is it committed towards is, is it revealing something or asking you to do something to get swarga and thereby swarga itself is moksha or kailasa vaikuntha whatever it is what is the commitment of vedanta this is the uh, samanvaya adhyaya first chapter which will look into various upanishad statements as to what are they committed to reveal what are they committed what is the conclusion of the veda anta nischaya what is the nischaya of the shastra tatparya vishaya that is what the samanvaya adhyaya is avirodhau do samanvaya avirodhau do two chapters are samanvaya and avirodha so second chapter is avirodha avirodha so there is an assessment done as to various philosophies various darshanas astika and nastika there are six astika darshanas and primarily two nastika darshanas bauddha and jaina astika darshanas are uh, purva mimamsa and uttara mimamsa this vedanta at the end but then we have sankhya yoga and we have uh, tarka nyaya so nyaya and vaisheshika both put together we what is surviving today we put together both nyaya vaisheshika and say it is one tarka shastra but there are two different philosophies they deal with different padarthas i mean different number of padarthas but as existing today both are studied together as one nyaya or tarka shastra so all these have different conclusions they have also analyzed vedas they are also astikas 
अस्ति इति वदति दैट इज अन आस्तिका वन हु सेज अस्ति सम तत्व इज देयर व्हाट इज दैट वेद रिवील्स दैट तत्व सो दे हैव श्रद्धा इन द वेदास एज प्रमाण एंड दे से देयर अस्तित्ववादी देयर इज समथिंग एग्जिस्टेंट ब्रह्म देयर इज सम तत्व लाइक दिस देयर फॉर ऑल दीस सिक्स आर सिक्स दर्शनास आर आस्तिक दर्शनास नास्तिका आर दे से देयर इज नथिंग नास्ति आत्मा दैट ब्रह्म ब्रह्म तत्व दे डोंट एग्री विथ सो वी से दैट बौद्ध इज एन आस्तिक मत एंड जैन आल्सो इज इंक्लूडेड देयर सो दीस आर द दर्शनास नाउ दे हैव वेरियस कंक्लूजंस एज टू व्हाट इज द एंड गोल ऑफ लाइफ व्हाट इज मोक्ष सो टू से व्हाट एवर दे कॉल एज मोक्ष शून्य और यू नो बिकमिंग वन रियली मर्जिंग विथ समथिंग सम तत्व व्हाट एवर Vaikuntavasa, the New Age uh, Vedantins. What does Madhva Charya say? What does uh, Ramanuja Charya say? So all these are contradictory. Contradictory to Advaita. What is the Advaita saying? Advaita Vedanta or Brahma Sutras, the way Advaita Sampradaya has analyzed and the Bhashya the Sampradaya. concludes is that there is aikya of the jiva with brahma ekameva advitya brahma which is brahmaatma finally that is the same self atma therefore brahmaatma ekameva now in avirodha what is analyzed is that all these puro pakshis raise their head and they say oh this is uh, contradictory to this uh, shastra that shastra they also call their uh, system as shastra sankhya is a shastra tarka is a shastra these are written by gautam muni so these are all munis rishis so rishi munis have written it puro mimamsa is analyzed by jaimini who is himself called as acharya by bhagavat pad acharya bhagwan bhashyakara calls him as acharya jaimini acharya so their conclusions are different he says swarga is the end goal and you are saying uh, brahma Jivan Mukti is the end goal. You are, and that is what the Vedas reveal. That's what you are claiming. So these darshanas will raise objections, and they say that there is virodha with this, with our, with these systems of philosophies. There a virodha is shown. A virodha by showing what is pramana, what is apramana. You cannot say that in Swapna, I was a king and I woke up. as a poor man with a 9 to 5 job trying to make ends meet and therefore there is virodha i should be a king i am an emperor i was an emperor in the dream you cannot claim that why because mithya swapna pratibhasika swapna or something which is non existent also tuchha in waking it is tuchha it is not there there is no emperor called uh, with a name that i have i was an emperor in dream so they, that's why they say in your dreams it means tuchha never possible that kind of a system of philosophy cannot have any opposition with vedanta which is a pramana so what will be shown by analysis is that a pramana shastra also if you claim and you show that oh your conclusions have virodha with it there is no virodha because satya and mithya cannot have virodha what your system is is all mithya it is not satya meaning atma brahmaatma is satya advaita is satya you cannot have we are not claiming that the system of philosophy that we have is one among so many philosophies and it is satya no we say that the system of philosophy advaita system it is the truth but then the philosophical aspects which are brought in they are all mithya it is all in the circle of mithya we do agree with that but the conclusion which is made which the shastra reveals that brahma tatva is not mithya the name is mithya brahma name is mithya atma name is mithya these are all name nama roopa are mithya but the tatva the vastu vasati iti vastu what is this sad vastu the existent thing is really existent it cannot have virodha with others therefore when we say all jeevas are not really multiple they are one unfailing truth which has existed trikala baditam 
which has never ever non existent which was never non existent it was ever existent it is existent and it will ever be existent that sachidananda vastu cannot have any opposition with any mithya system so that is avirodha chapter so samanvaya avirodha do sadhanancha phalan tatha third chapter is sadhana and fourth is phala sadhana is the means and phala is the result what is the result it is not something which is prapya something which is to be attained because it is what you really are what you are not and what we all what we have associated ourselves with as misunderstood ourselves as something that misunderstanding merely has to be taken away this is the goal of the upanishad and the brahma sutra shastra it takes away the misunderstandings and when the misunderstandings have gone what remains is the shuddha tattva which is you which shines forth in each and every being including the animals birds and insects and devatas and rakshasas not only human beings as aham 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 iti bhati asti bhati cha so that is the phala and therefore that phala which is nitya phala can be called as nitya moksha and as do attained as do prapya further what it is also prapyasya praptasya prapti jnanena therefore sadhana is jnana what is really attainable to be gained or reached the goal to be reached like swarga it's a it's a loka which has to be reached or it is an anubhava which has to be gained which you do not have now then it cannot be gained by jnana so the sadhana is different for karma kanda the the aprapthasya prapti hi karmana upasanena va so karma upasana is also some kind of karma but there is a division made as to the upasana is manasika karma so it's subtle karma is physical vaidika rituals etc those are karmas mantra adi uchcharana ityadi so thereby karma and upasana can give what is not attained it is attainable in place and time whereas jnana can give you something which is already attained it cannot give you something which is not attained if you understand swarga you will not have swarga but if you understand your own nature you will have it you will know that you always had it you were always that it is not having something afresh it is what you have always been so that is the phala of the shastra so these are the four chapters now the first chapter is samanvaya what does samanvaya deal with so there the vayasika nyayamala says samanvaye spashtalingam aspattatve apyupasagam nyeyagam padamat nyeyagam padamatrancha chintyam padeshvanukrama so each of the four padas in the adhyaya samanvaya adhyaya what are the four quarters why is the division of four quarters four padas there in the first chapter he says samanvaya adhyaye in that samanvaya the four padas deal with four different sub topics what are those so he says spashta lingam spashta lingam spashta lingam means linga is an indicator so spashta lingam is dealt with the uh, dealt with in the first chapter so what is spashta lingam the shruti vakyas which have which are easy to see as to what they reveal and what are what are we saying what is bhagwan bhashyakara claiming as to the shruti revealing wholesale not one or two mantras but all the vakyas of the shruti what are they committed towards they are committed towards advaita tattva and some of the vakyas are very clear you cannot interpret as dvaita you have to add words for example tattvamasi tattvamasi those who interpret tattvamasi in a different manner they have to 
do the padachhira differently or add some other word and say letter and show atattomasi but the shruti says tattomasi however we look at spashta linga what is uh, not even aikya vakyas look at what is the revealed tattva which is advitiya brahma which is nirguna brahma so if that is the case or saguna brahma also if you take because the entire brahma sutra the way it is structured and where the sutras are they go hand in hand that is meaning the saguna brahma and nirguna brahma go hand in hand there is no difference shown clearly as to in most sutras there is no difference made in saguna and nirguna except for the guna it is the same tattva so nirguna brahma itself takes the role of ishvara it is not a different ishvara from nirguna brahma therefore they are dealt with to, together and this is the reason the upasana phala the saguna upasana phala at the highest level and nirguna upasana phala also ahangra upasana also can lead to the same end goal and give krama mukti which bhagwan bhashyakar agrees with or the nirguna tattva understood here and now can give you jivan mukti so these these both ideas krama mukti and jivan mukti ideas go together in the in this shastra there is no difference made in so there will be a akshepa as to whether the the idea of the upasana deals with a jiva or ishvara whether it deals with jnana or upasana these come in in each and every i mean most of the sutras in sampadas however those which show you particular characteristics of a saguna that saguna whether it is jiva or ishvara meaning vyasti or samasti at an individual level or at the universal level that has to be analyzed there is matabheda in that therefore the darshanikas will become purva pakshi is there no this deals with jiva not ishvara and when ishvara is mentioned it is we will uh, the advaita sampradayam will take it as leading to nirguna finally although it is saguna in the upasana or in the in the vakya analysis still it will lead to the end goal which is nirguna so they the tatpare vishaya will still remain the same for advaitin thereby the first spashta linga is what now spashta linga is that where the vakyas are analyzed which vakyas are picked in the first chapter first pada samanvaya adhyaya there the vakya will clearly relate to ishvara brahma so we'll say brahma saguna or nirguna is irrelevant it reveals or it deals with brahma not jiva so what are those characteristics so these vakyas which deal which have words such as which shows sarvajnyatvam sarvajnyam so sarvajnyam sarvatmikam or sarva papa viraha so all these words which show that this particular tattva or whatever is revealed this entity is sarvajnya entity cannot be jiva has to be ishvara therefore it is spashta linga the indicator is very clear as to it is not jiva you cannot argue so just saying that sarvajnyatvam does jiva have sarvajnyatvam no then it cannot be jiva if the purva pakshi says oh it is a jiva no it cannot be jiva why the word sarvaj sarvajnyatvam or the guna sarvajnyatva guna is there in the vakya in that entity which is being dealt with or which the focus is right now so or sarvatma jiva is not sarvatma there is no sarvatmyam for jiva jiva is anaka paryantebhya so he is the jiva is is vyapaka tattva as per shastra but this jivatma when he is associated with this sharira his consciousness is limited by the sharira upadi so only up to the end of the nails tip of the nails tip of the hair not even the hair really nails and hair are not really sentient but he is he claims these nails are mine this hair is mine therefore he is limited not sarvatma sarva papa viraha so one who is free from all sorts of papa the jiva is not free from papa 
द मनुष्य जन्मा इट सेल्फ इज वेन देर इज अर इज अ मिक्सचर नियरली फिफ्टी फिफ्टी पुण्य एंड पापा हैड इट बीन नियर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट पुण्य देन वन वुड बी बॉर्न एज अ देवता इफ वन हैज नियर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ऑफ इन दि प्रारब्ध इन दैट प्रारब्ध नियर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ऑफ पापा देन वन वुड बी बॉर्न एज अ विथ एन अधोगति एज एन एनिमल बर्ड इंसेक्ट एक्सेट्रा बट फिफ्टी फिफ्टी कैंड ऑफ अ बैलेंस इन प्रारब्ध राइट फॉर फ्रक्टिफिकेशन वील गिव दि जन्म ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग देर फोर सर्व पाप विरह इज अ लिंग विच शोज ईश्वरा नॉट जीवा सो दीज आर दि वाक्य स्पष्ट लिंग विच आर स्पष्ट लिंग देर फोर असाधारण यू इट इज नॉट साधारण अक्रॉस जीवा एंड ईश्वरा when there is some sadharana dharma talked about guna talked about in a vakya in a vedanta vakya where it can be brahma also and jiva also there is aspashta linga so if it is aspashta linga then it can go in the second pada or third pada aspashta lingatve sati upasagam is so aspashtatve api upasyagam meaning which which is aspashta the linga is not clear as to whether it talks about jiva or ishvara then it can be either upasya tattva whether it is dealing with upasana or it is jnana that it is revealing something you just have to know then based on that it will go in the second or the third chap uh, pada of the first chapter so second part uh, second pada of the first chapter deals with aspashta linga vakyas but which are in the upasana section or which deal with upasana not particularly section because the section may not be clear the division may not be clear it can be jnana and upasana mixed together in a single section prakarana therefore aspashta linga and upasya is dealt with in the second pada like shandilya vidya in that there upasya but manomayatva is discussed prana shariratva is discussed so prana is there in ishvara also prana in hiranyagarbha ishvara feel said living entity therefore prana has to be there prana is there in the jeeva also manas is there universal level at hiranyagarbha level also and at the yashti level also individual has mana therefore manomayatva pranatva these will not categorize definitely so it has to be analyzed as to whether jeeva is being discussed or ishvara is being discussed and it is upasya the jiva has to be is upasya meaning the upasana has to be done on the jiva that i am this kind of an entity should i be doing that kind of an upasana or this is hiranyagarbha or prana this is samashti this is a, at a universal level ishvara saguna at that level should i do upasana what is the upasya devata there so that analysis in the second pada because in sopadika brahma and jiva these manomayatva and prana shariratva is common then in the third pada aspashta lingatve sati nyayagam should be known like jiv prithvi antariksha purotattvam sutratmanah parabrahmanascha sadharanatva the jiv prithvi the swarga and prithvi these are all antariksha purotattvam the the entity being discussed is one who is spread across these uh, prithvi also and uh, swarga also antariksha the intermediary space also so so all the three lokas that is common for hiranyagarbha also and parabrahma also so here the confusion or the doubt is not between jiva and ishvara but between hiranyagarbha sutratma is hiranyagarbha and parabrahma ishvara so the parabrahma ishvara and hiranyagarbha sutratma both have these so the, the what should be known there is ishvara being revealed or hiranyagarbha being revealed because their bheda is there you have to understand what is the sharira of ishvara what is the sharira of hiranyagarbha in mandukya ishvara is shushupti abhimani whereas hiranyagarbha is swapna abhimani samashti so there is a bheda to understand you have to make some difference the end understanding may be nirguna brahma but you can't jump there itself in each and every vakya and advaitin having understood finally can you know have nididhyasana there but still technically what is the vakya dealing with in that analysis in that mimamsa you cannot say that oh, this is the end goal because there are puropakshis sitting you have to convince them and that is the third pada 
Fourth pada is pada matram. Pada matram is just a shabda is being dealt with as to what is the meaning of this shabda. What does this word stand for? For example, word like avyakta. Avyakta is unmanifest. Unmanifest is what? Ishwara is unmanifest. Prakriti, Pradhana, Sankhya will say Pradhana is also unmanifest. Avyakta. So, Avyakta unmanifest can stand for many things. The world is unmanifest in Pralaya. Is manifest again in when it is what we say as creation. So, when at the beginning of a Yuga or there are many types of Pralayas. So, when there is Pralaya, the Prapancha is Avyakta. Maya is Avyakta, called as Pradhana or Prakriti by uh, Sankhya calls it as Pradhana. We call it as Prakriti or Maya. So, whether the Vakya is dealing with Maya or Ishwara, Ishwara is also unmanifest. You cannot see Ishwara, you cannot hear Ishwara. So, Ishwara is also Avyakta. So, which exact Avyakta is this Avyakta Shabda dealing with? That analysis is done in the fourth Pada or Aja Shabda, Aja. Brahma is Aja, said to be Aja. Or Aja, Aja word is used, Strilinga. Aja means a goat. In Rudi Artha, Aja means a goat. So, is it really talking about a goat or using it as goat as an example and talking about that, that kind of a charcha, some conclusion has to be made. Or Aja means unborn. Unborn can really mean what? Prakriti also is unborn. Nayaika will say the uh, their uh, Anu Tattva, all the atoms are also unborn. So, they will say Aja, that is also Aja Tattva. So, whether Aja is Brahma, Parabrahma Aja or its Prakriti or its uh, Nayaika's Gunas, uh, Nayaika's or not Gunas, the uh, Anus, Paramanus, what is it? So, therefore, this Pada Matra analysis done the fourth, fourth Pada. This is the division of the first chapter. In the second chapter, when we reach there, we look at the Pada Bheda. Now, let us continue with the Sutra. So, we looked at uh, the Iha Khalu Iha Khalu Bhagavan Badrayana Prekshavat Pravutya Upayakam Apatataha Trayanta Vajobhi Pratipannam Anubandha Jatam Nyayatu Nirnetu Idam Arachayan Chakara So, Arachayan Chakara is a lit Badrayana Bhagavan Vyasa Arachayan Chakara This pra, for the Prekshavat Prekshavat is one who is, is discriminative, who has viveka, who is intelligent, will always analyze something that comes about as an experience. And when having that kind of a nature in Veda Partha also, when he came across the Upanishad statements also, Shrotavya Mantavya Nidhidhasdavya, after what? Atma Va Are Drashtavya, the Brihad Mantra. Atma should be known, Rashtavya should be known. How? Through Shravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. He has some Vyakrana knowledge also. Therefore, when the Shruti says something as a Vidhi, with Tavya, Tavya, with the Kritya or uh, Lot or Vidhiling, basically late in Vedas and all of these have a sense of late because late itself has a sense of Vidhiling. So, as a vidhi, if something is, is said, it is for purushartha. Shruti does not give you a vidhi which is useless. It, it says nothing which is useless, but it cannot give you a vidhi which is not useful for purushartha. So, it will give me some purushartha, one of among the four purushartha. Now, the end goal being sukha, moksha purushartha, has to be sukha rupa, and this will give me sukha, atma. Atma Jnana, Atma Vare Drashtavya. Now, Drashtavya, how? How should it be known? Through Shravana, Manana, Nidhyasana of what? So, all this will come to the mind of a Prekshavat. And he will have a Pravrutti in something. What is that? Shastra itself. So, Prekshavatam Pravruttav Upaya Bhutam. Upayakam is Upaya Bhutam. Upayattam Praptam. That which has attained the status of an Upaya means... For pravrutti of this prekshavan, what is that anubandha jatam? He will inquire into what is the vishaya that I have to do shravana of? Am I the adhikari for it? What is the prayojana phala? What will I get out of it? That parama purusha artha? 
and what is the sambandha among these between me and the shastra between the shastra and the phala so all these make up the anubandha jata i am not going to the details of the shlokas because we have seen it elaborately across uh, 49 classes in adhyasa bhashya with uh, ratna prabha bhashya ratna prabha and we looked uh, at a decent uh, part of purnanandi tika also so i am assuming most of you have conceptual ideas of uh, adhyasa bhashya so adhyasa is established the brief is what adhyasa is established adhyasa can since adhyasa is there commonly there very well known which is misunderstanding adhyasa is atasmin tadbuddhi so one has to know atma which has been understood as shariradi sharira manah ityadi so people have various ideas of who i really am what the self is what atma is that is adhyasa since adhyasa is possible sambhavana is there it is established later thus yes, adhyasa is there since adhyasa is there it will go by jnana because it is a misconception it is a misunderstanding a misplaced notion that i am this entity a limited one who will die in time who is aging who is a who is a kid etc who is a male or a female all these ideas are adhyasta since it is an adhyasa moksha is revealing this atma vedanta tattva results in moksha as a phala by revealing aikya between this individual and brahma jiva and brahma by showing that you are not the sharira by panchakosha viveka sharira tre viveka avastha tre pariksha ityadi methodologies are there used by different prakarna granthas also based on upanishad and they reveal aikya since adhyasa is possible which is ajnana karya that ajnana mula ajnana will go only with jnana that jnana is vedanta vakya the phala is atyantika dukha nivritti moksha is atyantika dukha nivritti complete cessation of dukha and निरतिशय सुख प्राप्ति एंड नोइंग युअर स्वरूप एज आनंद भूत स्वरूप आनंद प्राप्ति विच इज प्राप्त से प्राप्ति अगेन एंड देर बाय देर इज विषय अधिकारी एंड फला ऑल्सो एंड दे हैव संबंध बिकॉज इट इज रिवीलिंग देर फॉर देर इज अ रिवीलर एंड रिवील्ड संबंध बिटवीन द शास्त्र एंड दि तत्व देर बाय दि shruti shravana itself meaning in the first instance by patha not even shravana pathana itself during the gurukula vasa as a brahmachari itself this prekshavan will get ideas when he is mature enough to understand that oh something has to be heard about shravana so anubandha anubandha chatushtaya is is known so yad anubandha jatam jata is a group anubandha jatam this anubandha jatam pratipannam so pratipannam known this anubandha jata is known saman apatata samanyata it is known for someone who is intelligent and has studied chanted vedas and has some vyakrana ideas he knows some analysis anvayadi so understand trayanta vacho vihi pratipannam understood three vedanta vakyas this anubandha jata is samanyata nyayata but not established logically he has some ideas and he may be even quite convinced also but he needs an endorsement that is done here nyayata in, the, in this nyaya prasthana nirneyatum nyayata nirneyatu to establish logically idam ar idam sutram archayan chakara bhagavan badrayana so atha to brahma jignasa here there are three words atha ataha brahma jignasa here in the uh, and it is in the jignasa adhikaranam so unfortunately this adhikarana is uh, mentioned in between i would have preferred here but then it is in between so we look at what is jignasa adhikaranam jignasa adhikaranam first what is adhikaranam adhikaranam vishayo vishayaschaiva puro pakshas tatottaram nirnayaschaiti panchangam shastri adhikaranam smritam 
शास्त्रे अधिकरण स्मृत स्मृति सेज दैट वॉट इज अधिकरण इन दी शास्त्र इन ईच एंड शास्त्र वॉट इज अधिकरण टॉपिक हाउ डू यू पुट टूगेदर अ टॉपिक वॉट सूत्र विल गो इन विच ऑल सूत्र विल गो इन विच अधिकार अधिकरण सो देर देर आर पंचांगम फाइव अंगास फाइव पार्ट टू एन अधिकरण वन इज विषया षणमुक्षकार विषय देन विषय 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 शंकर शकार सो विषय एंड विषय विषय इज टॉपिक विच वी ऑल नो सो सब्जेक्ट मैटर वॉट इज इट ब्रह्म हियर इन दिस केस फॉर द एंटायर शास्त्र बट ईच अधिकरण विल हैव अ पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक वॉट इज इट टॉपिक देर वेदर इट इज उपास्य और नॉट दैट इज ए विषय विच विच पर्टिक्युलर श्रुति वाक्य इज टेकन एज अ विषय हियर श्रोतव्य मंतव्य निधिध्यासितव्य इन अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञास दैट मे बी दी विषय वॉट इज दी विषय देर पर्टिक्युलर वेदांत वाक्य उपनिषद वाक्य मे बी दी विषय देन विषय विषय इज अ संशय अ डाउट संशय हेज सम उपसर्ग वेर एज विषय हेज वी उपसर्ग सेम धातु सो संशय वॉट इज दी डाउट वॉट इज दी डाउट विच इज बींग एंसर्ड वॉट इज दी पूर्वपक्ष विच रेज टू दिस डाउट वेदर दिस इज the case or that is the case so that should be there in the adhikarana if the doubt is common across sutras they deal with the same samshya then they'll go into a single adhikarana subject matter is same puro pakshaha what is the opponent saying what is he saying how does he resolve the doubt if you raise a doubt this way or that way what are the pakshas so somebody will take one paksha so if the nayayika or the sankhya takes one paksha what is the puro paksha what is he claiming देन उत्तर तथोत्तर उत्तर पक्ष उत्तर पक्ष इज सिद्धांत वॉट इज दिद्धांति से रिजोल्यूशन टू दिस संशय वॉट इज द रिजोल्यूशन दिस इज द निश्चय ही हेज टू प्रूव देन दी प्रूफ विल बी गिवन बट इन दी अधिकरण पूर्व पक्ष एंड उत्तर पक्ष सिद्धांत हेज टू बी स्टेटेड दीज आर फोर एंड फाइनली निर्णय निर्णय फाइनली बाय एनालिस वॉट इज कंक्लूडेड Now some of the sutras are puro paksha sutras, so there may be an adhikarana which will be in such a manner that few sutras are only puro paksha sutras, and then the siddhanta follows. And towards the end of the uh, end of the Brahma sutras, there is one adhikarana where uh, I think we have one adhikarana where the siddhanta is initially there and puro paksha is stated later. So siddhanta is given. Siddhanta sutras are there, and then only puro paksha sutras. therefore there are other sampradayas which uh, say that oh because it has come later it has to be siddhanta not puro paksha anyway we'll see when we see that so these are the five things which make up the adhikarana now in the athato brahma jignyasa it is a jignyasa adhikaranam so in a single sutra atha ataha brahma jignyasa three words so atra atha shabdena sadana chatushte sampatyanantaryam uchyate since adhyasa is possible सिंस अनुबंध चतुष्ट इज पॉसिबल सिंस एन अधिकारी इज पॉसिबल दैट अधिकारी इज हू वन हू हेज साधन चतुष्ट संपत्ति देर फोर साधन चतुष्ट संपत्ति विवेक वैराग्य समाधि षटक मुमुक्षुत्व इज देर विच यूर मेकअप एन अधिकारी समाधि षटक शमदम तिथिक्षा उपरती श्रद्धा सामधान सो द सिक्स फोल्ड वर्च्यूज अलॉन्ग विथ विवेक ड्रिवन वैराग्य विल मेक अ पर्सन मुमुक्षु क्षमा इज इंद्रिय निग्रह सो दमा इज द एक्सटर्नल पर्स्यूट हेज टू बी ड्रॉप तिथिक्षा इज फॉरबेर सो तिथिक्षा इज रियली सहनम सर्व दुखान आई थिंक विवेक चूड़ा मनी सहनम सर्व दुखान अप्रतिकार पूर्वक सी सहनम सर्व दुखा ना वॉट चॉइस डू वी हैव इफ देर इज दुखा इन लाइफ इट इज नॉट एंटायर लाइफ इज नेवर फील्ड विद दुखा अदरवाइज अ पर्सन विल बिकम सुसाइड सो टू से विल हैव वेरी निगेटिव थॉट्स सो दी लाइफ गिव्स ऑन कीप्स ऑन गिविंग सुखा वंस इन अ वाइल इट्स नॉट इवन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस सुखा इज लेस दुखा इज मोर देर आर पीपल हुव ग्रेट प्रारब्ध हु हैव लेस दुखा एंड मोर सुखा but overall if you look at it many people keep on complaining so much of dukha so much of dukha sukha goes away sukha moments go away they don't last long it doesn't feel lasting long but dukha 
is long drawn. So there, Titiksha is what forbearing that dukkha. Now, Sahanam Sarva Dukkha, na, what choice do we have? You can struggle so much, but then if the Prarabdha has dukkha, even with the struggle, the struggle itself is a dukkha. Therefore, Sahanam Sarva Dukkha Nam, he is common to everyone. They have, so, that does not mean that they have Titiksha. What drives home Titiksha is Apratikara Purvakam. Without without you know complaining without bickering without uh, uh, you know why did, did this happen to me many of us we say you know i did i did nothing wrong yes in this janma it is not visible to us but in the earlier janma we have all done something wrong because of which we have got human birth so apratikara purvakam is to see that prarabdha has this dukkha has given me this dukkha because my karma is such. Prarabdha karma is like that. So that is apratikara puraka. Uparati is, uh, since uparati and shama have a lot of uh, overlap, uparati in sampradaya, orthodoxy is taken as sannyasa. Nyasa and in the end it is taken as sannyasa. Viveka Chudamani Vyakya. In that Vyakya, the Shingiri Acharya says, uh, he gives an introductory meaning of uparati. He, Nyasa and then in the end he revisits all these Shamadamadi virtues and then he, there he says this Uparati will is culmination into Sanyasa at the end. When the Tattva is understood it will lead to Vidvat Sanyasa. Shraddha. Shraddha in Shastra Guru Sampradaya. Shraddha and Samadhana being composed, being focused. So composed is what Samadhana means and it will lead to Mumukshutvam. This makes an adhikari. Now, this adhikari, sadhana chaturte sampanna adhikari. So, sadhana chaturte sampatyanantaryam uchyate atashabda is means when after one gains this four, you know, four qualifications, becomes an adhikari. After that, after that, what? Ataha, therefore. Therefore means atashabdena sadhana chaturte sa sambhavana. After sadhana chatushtaya, meaning what? Yes, sadhana chatushtaya is possible to be gained. Why is this being said? Because uh, using this sutra, we have seen in the Adhyasa Vashya, Vyakya, there analysis is done, Puro Pakshi says, Shastram na Aramaniyam. The Shastra should not be begun even. Why is this Brahma Sutra and all that is being made? Because there is no Adhikari, there is no Moksha possible. The kind of moksha that you are claiming is not possible and some kind of moksha that is possible, karma will lead to that or samuchaya. Why do you need all this analysis of Vedanta Upanishad Vakyas? It is all futile. But then this Anubandha Chatushtaya is established using the Upanishad Vakyas and thereby Sambhavana of Sadhana Chatushtaya. Since one can have Viveka, one can have Vairagya, one can have Samadhi Shatka, one can become a mukshu, therefore Therefore, ataha, ataha what? Therefore, what should one do? Because adhyasa will go only by jnana. Sarpa, which is real, will not go by jnana. But Raju Sarpa will go only by Raju jnana, adhishthana jnana. If someone sees a Sarpa in front of one, oneself, the other one sees a rope. And if it is a rope, not a snake, even if you beat the snake, the snake will not go away. The resultant fear will also not go away because one will keep on seeing Sarpa. I don't know whether it is dead. It is still there. What if it raises its fangs again? So this Karya Bhaya will also be there. Whatever karma you do, whatever prayers you do, still it will not go. Karma will not give Mukti from this Bhaya because this Sarpa is not a real Sarpa. It is, it is a Raju. So Raju Jnana alone will take away this avidya of Raju and thereby Sarpa will vanish. And vanish meaning what? One will know, once one knows the Raju as Raju, the Sarpa is known to be, to never have been there. It is not that Sarpa was there, it went, but in the Bhranti Kala, Sarpa was Satya. In the Jnana Kala, one knows that Sarpa was never there. In the Bhranti Kala also it wasn't there, it was not only Satya, the Sarpa itself was not there. There was no Sarpa at all. Therefore, Avidya of the Atma, which is Brahma, 
will go away only by jnana of brahma therefore brahma jignasa now what is this brahma jignasa athatu brahma jignasa how do you understand the vakya eka thing vakyam so some thing and the pada or equivalent kritya has to be supplied whenever you do uh, an anvaya so when you say ramaha ramaha vanam if you say you wouldn't say rama vanam uh, when you say you know ramaha somebody introduces oneself as ramaha what does it mean ramaha asmi asmi has to be supplied there aham rama asmi or mama nama rama something has to be and mama nama rama if you say there also there is no tinganta pada you have to say mama nama mama nama ramaha asti there you have to say asti so tinganta has to be supplied here what will be supplied some has something has to be supplied so here if you say athato brahma jignasa bhavati asti bhavati vartate is what you will generally supply so with that if you make an anvaya athato ata atha ataha brahma jignasa bhavati what does it mean atha after acquiring sadhana chaturthe sampatti since sadhana chaturthe sampatti is possible ataha brahma jignasa bhavati brahmani jignasa bhavati or brahmana jignasa bhavati jnatu michha jignasa sananta pada so it means that there will be there is ichha to know brahma there is there will be meaning once one gains this four fold qualification there there will be desire to know brahma what kind of a sutra would this be if it makes a statement which is an anuvada meaning there will be okay there will be so what do i have this qualifications no then why do i care oh do i have this qualification yes then it will automatically happen i have to wait so what does this sutra give me it gives me nothing that will be anuvada that is not how it should be therefore kartavya word has to be supplied brahma jignasa kartavya that is what the uh, the vritti says so here further it says further brahma jignasa ityanena ajnatatvena vishayatvam jnatatvena prayojanatvam brahmana uktam bhavati so what is he saying there is the brahma jignasa ityanena the word brahma jignasa through that what is what is being said vishaya is being shown and prayojana also what is the vishaya here brahma is the vishaya brahmana jignasa brahma jignasa karmani shashti so brahma is karma meaning vishaya of jignasa dhatu jignasa dhatu is derived from nya dhatu using sa san pratya so jnatu miccha jignasa is the dhatu jignasa kasya jignasa brahmana jignasa so brahma is karmani shashti for this jignasa dhatu there is desire to know know what brahma so brahma is vishaya now desire to know brahma would anyone desire to know brahma when brahma is known no so ajnatatvena vishayatvam brahma is vishaya subject matter karma karma meaning vyakrana karma vyakrana karma of jignasa to know what when you say oh brahma there is desire to know desire to know brahma ajnatatvan unknown brahma brahma which is not known as what is brahma i don't know what is brahma i want to know so ajnatatvan vishayatvam but jnatatvena prayojanatvam brahma is not only the vishaya but also prayojana i am the adhikari brahma is the vishaya of this knowledge the means is knowledge through this knowledge what will i gain i'll gain brahma why brahma veda brahma yuva bhavati shruti says brahma veda brahma yuva bhavati therefore jnatatvena prayojanatvam also same brahma which is the vishaya is also the prayojana what will i get by knowing oh you will get nothing new you will know that you are brahma you have always been brahma therefore jnatatvena prayojanatvam also brahma veda brahma yuva bhavati i'll know that i have ever been brahma just like sarpa was never sarpa i was never limited jiva just like rajju was ever rajju never a sarpa i have ever been brahma never a limited jiva with shariradi upadhi limiting me i was always brahma as though limiting me therefore brahmana ajnatatvena vishayatvam 
ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಜ್ಞಾತತ್ವೇನ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನತ್ವಂ ಉಕ್ತಂ ಭವತಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌದು ಅನ್ವಯಸ್ ಏವಂಚ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾವತ್ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತ್ಯಂಗಭೂತ ಅಧಿಕಾರ್ಯಾದಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಕತ್ವೇನ ಸಮನ್ವಯಾಧ್ಯಖಿಲ ವಿಚಾರೋಪೋದ್ಘಾತತ್ವಾತ್ ಆದೌ ಅಸ್ಯ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಸಂಗತಿ ದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಸಂ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ನೌ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೂತ್ರ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಪಾದಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎನಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ವೈ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಗತಿ ಸೊ ಸಂಗತಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸಂಗತಿ ಆದೌ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಥಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜಿಂದ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸೂತ್ರ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ತತ್ವ ಎಟ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮಾದ್ಯಸ ಯತಃ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ದ ತತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯಾಧ್ಯಖಿಲ ವಿಚಾರೋಪೋದ್ಘಾತತ್ವಾತ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಖಿಲ ವಿಚಾರ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತತ್ವಾತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಆದಿ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಆದಿ ಯಾಮ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಯಾಮ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಖಿಲ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಅಖಿಲಂ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಸೊ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಚಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಥಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಏವಂಚ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾವತ್ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತ್ಯಂಗಭೂತ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇದು ಸಮರ್ಪಕತ್ವೇನ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎನ್ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಉಪೋದ್ಘಾತ ಬೈ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವಿಷಯ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಷಯ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಥ ಅಥ ಶಬ್ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಾಧನ ಚತುರ್ಥೆ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ ಪ್ರಾಪಕ ನಿಯ ನಿಯತ್ವ ಭಾವ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಿಯತ್ವ ಭಾವ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ನಿಯತ್ವ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪ್ರಾಪಕ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ರೀಚ್ ಅ ಗೋಲ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ಸಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರಿವೀಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆದೌ ಅಸ್ಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ಸಂಗತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾವತ್ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತ್ಯಂಗಭೂತ ದಿಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾದಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ವಿಷಯ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಸಮರ್ಪಕತ್ವೇನ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾವತ್ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಅಂಗಭೂತ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಅಂಗಭೂತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಅಂಗಭೂತ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್
with what shruti which kind of shruti with those vakyas vakyaihi which vakyas vedanta vakyas upanishad vakyas <coughs> which are what we vichara vishaya when it will be established we have seen in the adhyasa bhashya as brahma jignasa kartavya there ji vichara kartavya is the conclusion we will see how further but to recall because this is jumping ahead vichara vishaya vedanta vichara kartavya is the meaning upanishad vakya brahmana jignasa kartavya kena kena margena kena sadhanena vedanta vicharena kartavya vedanta vicharena eva kartavya we have seen in the adhyasa bhashya so brahma jignasa should not be done independently it should be done using the shruti vakyas only only then it will lead to moksha not by some random philosophical study by inquiry into the vedanta vakyas only eva we have seen evakara in the uh, the bhashya ratna prabha ityadi so विचार विषय इज वॉट वेदांत वाक्य सो विचार विचार विषय विचार विषया यानी वेदांत वाक्या तैह वेदांत वाक्य सह श्रुति संगति भवती अस्य सूत्र से दिस सूत्र हेज बै वाय अपेक्षण सिंस दिस् से ब्रह्म जिज्ञास कर्तव्य मीनिंग विचार कर्तव्य वेदांत वाक्य विचार कर्तव्य वेदांत वाक्य विचार बिकम दि वेदांत वाक्या बिकम दि विषय ऑफ दि विचार which vichara that vichara which has to be done kartavyatvena as shown by this sutra therefore one will not know unless one studies this sutra as to what is the tatpare vishaya of the shruti vakyas which have to be inquired into one will not know that they have to be inquired into you cannot just take it at face value therefore apekshana there is an apeksha of those vedanta vakyas for vichara to be done among uh, upon them for moksha the swartha nirnaya basically swartha nirnaya end goal is moksha swartha nirnaya as to what is the real meaning of the vakyas and swartha also means another uh, another thing by extension that puro mimamsa ka says that these uh, brahma revealing vakyas are all arthavada but swartha no are they arthavada or do they have their own meaning are they uh, you know dependent on a vidhi subsidiary to some uh, karma upasana or are they independently talking about something so swartha nirnayaya asya apekshana shruti sangati evam <coughs> evam sarvesham sutranam shruti sangatir drashtavya <coughs> so in this manner the with all of the वेदांत सूत्र वेदांत दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वेदांत सूत्र सो सर्वेशां सूत्राणां श्रुति संगतिर द्रष्टव्या वन हैज टू सी श्रुति संगति ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सूत्र एंड दिस बीइंग अ न्याय प्रस्थान इट विल टेल यू हाउ टू एनालाइज दोस एंड इट डज एन एनालिसिस एंड कंक्लूड्स एज टू वेदर इट इज डीलिंग विद अनुपासना और ज्ञान और वेदर जीव और परब्रह्म और हिरण्य गर्भ और परब्रह्म दैट कैन ऑफ एनालिसिस इज डन देर फोर स्वाथ निर्णय अस्य अपेक्षण एंड एवं सर्वेशां सूत्रण ऑल सूत्र विल हैव सम कनेक्शन विथ सम वेदांत वाक्य एंड दैट्स हाउ दी संगति हेज टू बी सीन विशेषत ब्रह्म पर वाक्य तात्पर्य निर्णायक न्याय सूचक ब्रह्म विचारात्मक शास्त्र संगति फर्दर वॉट विशेषत स्पेसिफिकली ब्रह्म पर वाक्य तात्पर्य निर्णयाय वेदांत वाक्या आर एनलाइज and they are shown as committed to a single para brahma so they are brahma para vakyas vakyas are committed para means committed towards what brahma they reveal a single non dual brahma or even if you say saguna brahma also it reveals ishvara not jiva not anything else the upasana also is on brahma if it shows that then visheshata it is showing that by what nyaya N- using nyaya sutras are using तर्क न्याय सूचक ब्रह्म विचारात्मक शास्त्र संगति इट इज ऑलसो हैविंग कनेक्शन विद दि एंटायर शास्त्र एज अ लमसम नॉट सूत्र बट एंटायर शास्त्र नॉट एज एज एन इंट्रोडक्टरी उपाद उपोदघाता बट ऑलसो वॉट ब्रह्म विचारात्मक सिंस विचार इज ऑन ब्रह्म बाय दि एनालिस ऑफ दि श्रुति मंत्रज इट विल बी शोन दैट दे आर ऑल ट्यून टूवर्ड्स रिवीलिंग वन ब्रह्म that brahma vichara is what leading to brahmatmaka brahma is atma 
सो ब्रह्म विचारात्मक इट इज गोइंग टू इन दी एंड शो दैट इट इज ऐक्य बट ब्रह्म विचार आत्मक आत्म इयर इज स्वरूप ब्रह्म विचार स्वरूप द स्वरूप ऑफ द विचार इज दैट इट इज ब्रह्म देर फोर दि शास्त्र संगति इज ऑल्सो देर शास्त्र इज दिस एंटायर शास्त्र सो आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दि सिंपल स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज वी डिड अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वन and then we can flow through the first four sutras will have a lot of uh, uh, you know a lot of depth to go into the other sutras are simpler simpler in comparison they don't have so much of uh, you know so much of uh, vritti they have, they have you know one para at the most one para sometimes you get uh, a lot but then most of them have short uh, vrittis here you have a lot to look at and they unless this is understood the other sutras are going to be very difficult these four have to be very clear initially and since this has an uh, this has an expectancy of adhyasa bhashya also a lot of loaded words are used here so therefore it says evam agre api shastra sangati ruhiya similarly because specifically what are they doing all the sutras are going to analyze the shruti vakyas and finally show the siddhanta which is brahma para That the vakyas are Brahma para. Therefore, what it is all places in further sutras also you have to see shastra sangati in this manner. Atha to Brahma jinnyaasa ityadi vi sutra hi sarve vedanta Brahma para iti samanvaya pratipadana tesham adhyayam samanvaya adhyay sangati. I am just going to finish today with the sangatis because sangatis are easy. I don't want to revisit sangatis. What other sangatis there? Samanda. Samanda is also with the with the adhyaya. Adhyaya is Up to the end of the chapter, this samanvaya adhyaya sangati, the entire adhyaya has this this sutra has the sangati. What sutra? Adhikarana itself. Atha to Brahma jinnyaasa ityadi bhi sutra hi sarve vedanta Brahma para. Through the sutras, what is being shown is that they are all committed to Brahma. Sarve vedanta is all Upanishad vakyas are Brahma para. Brahma para means Brahma para ha. Here sarve vedanta ha Brahma para ha. सूत्र ही ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा दिस अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा इज वन सूत्र इत्यादि भी सूत्र थ्रू ऑल दी सूत्र सर्वे वेदांत व्हाट इज शोन इज दैट ऑल वेदांत वाक्यास आर ब्रह्म परा इति समन्वय प्रतिपादना एंड व्हाट इज डूइंग द समन्वय अध्याय इज गोइंग टू शो वी हैव सीन समन्वय अध्याय ऑल दी सूत्र इन द समन्वय अध्याय आर गोइंग टू शो दैट दी स्टेटमेंट्स दी श्रुति वाक्यास आर कमिटेड टुवर्ड्स ब्रह्म therefore what what kind of sangati tesham tesham sutra nam in the samanvaya adhyaya whatever sutras are there all sutras in the first chapter adhyam samanvaya adhyaya sangati they have this kind of a samanvaya adhyaya sangati all sutras will be connected with the adhyaya in that manner itself there that kind of a sambandha is there prathama pade spashta brahma linga which we saw spashta brahma linga vakyas are dealt with in the first chapter first pada सो प्रथम पादे स्पष्ट ब्रह्मलिंगा वाक्या विचार सिंस दोज आर दि ओनली कैंड ऑफ वाक्या विच आर एनलाइज विच हैव अ क्लियर इंडिकेशन टुवर्ड्स स्पष्ट स्पष्ट क्लियर इंडिकेशन लिंगा टुवर्ड्स ब्रह्म देर इज नो डाउट देर सर्वज्ञत्व इज नॉट इन जीवा इट इज इन ओनली इन परब्रह्म ओनली इन ईश्वर देर फोर आ पाद पाद संगति सो इन फस्ट सो पाद संगति देर इज पाद संगति ऑलसो बिकॉज ओनली there is in extending only to that pada there is sangati extending to that pada in such a manner that only spashta brahma linga vakyas will have sangati there prathamyad asya adhikaranasya na adhikarana sangati this is the first adhikarana jinnyasa adhikarana is the first adhikarana so across adhikaranas there is no sambandha because there is no earlier adhikarana therefore there is no adhikarana sangati what is the adhikarana sangati the next adhikarana has to have sambandha with the earlier adhikarana not only sutra to sutra but there can be adhikarana to adhikarana also but this is being the first one obviously there is no adhikarana sangati there is no sambandha with the earlier adhikarana because there is no earlier adhikarana now the sec second adhikarana has sambandha with this adhikarana so uttara adhikarana sangati stu tasya eva anena iti tas na asya uchyate of course the second adhikarana is janmadi adhikarana has sambandha with this adhikarana sangati is there but then That has sangati of this adhikarana. That adhikarana, second adhikarana has sangati of first adhikarana. First has does not have sangati of the second, because the, what is preceding will be connected to the sec. I mean, the what is following will be connected to the earlier. That that kind of sangati is shown, not the other way around. 
पूर्व पक्षे विचार अनारंभा उपायांतर साध्यम सो नाउ दिस इज इट एनालिसिस पूर्व पक्ष इत्यादि सो संगति इज ओवर वी लुक एट मोर इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग विथ पूर्व पक्ष संगति इज ओवर आई डोंट वांट टू डील विथ संगति फॉर दिस सूत्र एनी मोर अगेन सॉरी फॉर टेकिंग मोर टाइम आई ट्राई टू कंटेन दी क्लास बट देन इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू क्लोज विदाउट दी विदाउट अ लॉजिकल यू नो समवेयर एट अ लॉजिकल पॉइंट ओके आमनायांतक संसिद्ध आदि मध्यांत वर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे